Hello! For a lot of you, this might be the most high definition you've seen my face. For those of you that have been subscribed for more than a month, or I guess, yeah, now it's been a month and a half, uh, welcome back. My, my old lens broke, and that's why I switched to the webcam that you've been seeing for basically all the zero videos until now. And so now I got myself a new lens, and I'm looking crisp once again. Feels good, man. So today we're of course going to be looking at zero, but I did want to just, you know, quickly quickly show this off uh, a little bit because of course it does look really really good but yeah so I'm happy with this new new lens for videos you'll be seeing me like this from now on no more of the webcam I know that you know the webcam gives more of a like a view of my background but then I mean this is just way better so there's no argument about it you know that's just how it is but today we have the Valentine's event and last time I asked you guys if you would want me to recover the events uh, that are from the Japanese you know being repeated in English and so I'm doing exactly that so Valentine memories this was called Valentine for you in um, in Japanese so let's take a look at what exactly it is for those of you that are newcomers and haven't watched the Japanese uh, version video yet Sai, mm -hmm. it sure isn't easy to train new Team Asteroid prospects. Who wants to join Team Asteroid? So as a trainer, I've got to take it so seriously. Good. Still, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I better make the most of my break time. Maybe I should get a coffee. Good. This is why she's best girl. She knows what's good in life. It's coffee. Are you all ready? Huh? Oh, well, it was just a TV. <laughs> it's almost Valentine's Day. Have you gotten your presents yet? A super cute Valentine's love ride. Banger is good, but don't forget the chocolate. Valentine's means heart-shaped chocolate. Whoa, oh yeah, I almost forgot. It's almost Valentine's Day. And I still haven't gotten a present for Ren. I'd better get on it. First, I'll make a list of sweets Ren likes. Then? Then? Good work all, it's time to change the tape, so now is a good time for a break. Thanks for your hard work. Otsukaresama desu. Sorry, I say that in a very disgusting accent. I should stop that. Let's take a break. What's the matter, Cody? Oh, I know, maybe you like someone. That's not it. Oh, no? Idols aren't allowed to have relationships, but just liking someone is okay. Oh, so that's how it is. So you can have unrequited love, but you can't have a relationship? I see. Then what is it? I just don't get what's so great about Valentine's Day. Everyone just gets diabetes. I have to wonder why people get all worked up about exchanging chocolates. Is that all? Yeah, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, sending your feelings of super cute love to someone you like is a big deal. Of course people get excited. What do you think, Suiko? Yeah, it's wonderful to be able to express your feelings to someone in chocolate form. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, I'm not really feeling it. Why don't you try sending a valentine? But I don't like anyone. I am paper. It's not limited to just people you like, you know? I send them to people important to me as a way of saying thanks, that could work. I could send one to say thank you. The person most important to me has to be... Uh, I already know who this is from the Japanese version, but... Enjoy finding out for yourselves as you progress through the story. Valentine Memories! I wonder why they didn't just keep Valentine for you. That was like the, the name of the Japanese one, and... It feels like it stuck pretty well, I don't know. Not sure if it was necessary to rework it, but anyway, so this is the first time that we get this kind of seasonal event in English Zero. This was actually the second seasonal event in Japanese Zero because the first one was Christmas. Um, no, actually, no, it was the third. First, it was Christmas, then it was New Year, and then it was Valentine's. So here's how it works: roll the dice, roll the dice. There's going to be at least someone in chat that knows that song. Tap roll dice to advance. Sorry, I said chat to comments. I'm sorry. Someone in comments that knows that song. Land on spaces with cards on them to progress. When you land on a space with a face down card, you'll get one to three random cards. On a space with a face up card, you'll get the cards shown. So, on the grid, collect the cards and unlock the story. And one thing I gotta say immediately is that you do not get to card keep these cards. These are just for the use within the event and then they disappear afterwards. You can't use them in your normal decks either. So I know that, I think when this started, that these events started in Japan, I also was a little bit confused. I was like, huh? Um, but no, like they don't, you don't keep them. That's just how it is. And so you press roll dice. You never get reminded of this again, which is quite nice. And so then you get your 30 chocolate hearts, tokens, and then you basically get to exchange them for prizes. And so the prizes, of course, are a bunch of goodies. So you basically get um, my room stuff. So Asaka and Koorin, Apron, uh, my room characters. And of course you also get the fight skins, so here you get Asaka, if you watch me play Pale Moon, I always use this one on Japanese. And then a Royal Paladin, 
uh, Coding one, so this can only be used for royals. Coding later gets us, uh, her skin becomes usable, not this one, but the general Coding one becomes usable in angels and royals, but not gold, sadly, not yet. Um, and so this one is royals only, so that's a bit unfortunate, but it looks really good. I know a lot of people like it. I like it myself. The only problem is that she doesn't have any catchphrases for her Majesty Lore Blaster. And then you get a home skin for Asaka. You'll also notice that if you watch my videos from the Japanese version, I use this one a lot. And then you also get one for Coding, if you prefer that. And then you also get sleeves with Asaka and Coding on them as well. And then you get a bunch of nice little furniture. So this is where a lot of the My Room stuff comes from. So a lot of Valentine stuff. Very pink. Very, very pink. You get a kitchen, storage rack, all this stuff. Present tower. I guess these are a bit more... Present tower is a bit more universal, I guess. But a lot of it is very pink and Valentine-y. And of course, there's nothing better than... The only thing better than Valentine's is Valentine's at the end of May. <laughs> and so of course you also get these packs, which are very easy to get because you actually get a lot of these tokens super easily. Um, so it really doesn't take much effort. So another thing is they have the special dice. So they say, what are special dice? When you want to land on a specific space, use special dice. When you control the number that's rolled, you can stop on any space you want. So basically, you get one use of a special dice per day, and then after that you gotta pay 50 gems per one, so you don't wanna do that because it's waste. <laughs> so for example here, I will do like one next, and then it will take me to the first to this space that will then push me by one more space that will take me to the Crimson Beast Tamer. And so you have to land on these specific cards to get those cards, but then when you land on the face down ones, you get the random ones. And of course you can click on model room once per day to get yourself three free dice, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So you click it, or maybe it was five, I can't remember. Yeah, it was three, it was three. And it gives you some like rooms that you can copy if you want to for your own room. So it gives you some inspiration, it changes every day. So that's an important thing to note about that. Um, so, then what else? We have our missions. Let's quickly take a look at them here. Uh, so of course you got your dailies of getting VP. And then on top of that you get the uh, time limited ones where you get more of these tokens. You get dice, you get stuff for your, for your room. You get, yeah, basically that. So here you can also turn on auto. And then it just goes like this, zooms around the map. Generally, you want to use your special dice to either land on the fights or to land on... So here, I'm going to stop it. And so here, I'm going to use the free one to get to Aichi so we can do the fight. Because once you win in a fight, um, which can be skippable, I'm not sure if it's skippable from this event yet or not, but in Japan, in the Japanese version, you can skip them all the time. Um, so here, I'm just going to fight against Aichi. So it is skippable once you beat them once. So it's going to take my deck here. You know, you can. I usually do auto-fight for these, but I guess I can play through one of them. Um, not on auto, or I'll say maybe I'll just turn on auto, see how good or bad the opening hand is. So, Skipperoni. Um, let's put this back, put this back. Uh, didn't get better, unfortunate. I think I'll turn on auto. I don't know. Part of me fears that they would even ride a PG in this case. But yeah. Alright, let's just turn on auto, keep it faster. But yeah, so the event is very easy, it's a lot less like, um... You know, like, the clan events, they're quite stressful because you're, like, rolling the packs all the time and, like, trying to get all the stuff. Whereas, in these events, it's very much, like, relaxed. You just do your stuff for the day and that's it. Like, literally, that's it. You don't have anything else left to do. Um, so it's quite chill. And overall, just a nice little, like... I don't know, it, it feels more stress-free. And the rewards are nice because they are skins. You don't have to... Another thing, somebody asked me, um, if you need to own the original Corrin skin to own the Valentine's one. And no, you don't. You can use the new Valentine's Core skin without owning the old one, and that's a really nice factor about it. And yeah, uh, also these characters that you face on the grid, they do change um, after you after one round is over. So basically once you finish a circle, it just changes. So, let's see here if I can get a Power Edition card. I don't, but that's an SP Dayusha, so we'll ride that real quick. I have the animations enabled, I think, so let's get rid of that. And then I guess we're just gonna swing here. A lot of my crits are already gone, so... Pretty unfortunate. Looks like this might actually not work out too well. Another thing is that, as I mentioned in previous videos, is that you don't need to win on 4 or less damage for these to get the skip. Um, even if you win on 5 damage, it still works just fine. So it's quite chill in that regard. And yeah, this is not looking too good for me. My opponent is rushing me, I have no intercepts. And overall, it's just not a fun ride. Oh, never mind, he doesn't have a great 3. That might change some things. Potentially. If I get defensive here, especially. Oh, and I do. And I do. His Vanguard doesn't even hit me anymore. But he's still gonna swing a Vanguard. What a god. Wow. The actual champ. Alright. Gonna take out my Daisha. Understandable. Have a nice day. 
please give me a booster or something that can give my Vanguard power for the crit. Okay, the Laurel will work. The Laurel will work. Oh, I forgot that it's an auto. Well, that's okay. That's okay. You can do your magic. Come on, just flip a crit right now. Just one, just one. Oh, come on, man. You can do better than that. Alright, it's okay. As long as we survive, I think I need to like pop another defensive or something and then I'm fine. <laughs> and then it's all good. Imagine losing. Alright, that's another 13, so that means his attacks are all losing to a defensive, just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Here, even the trigger won't hit, and we'll take out another of my rears, and here I'm just gonna take over, just in case he doesn't call the PG or doesn't get... Okay, good, it's another big one, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So let's get some power in here for that uh, crit with the on attack skill. That's gonna work out just fine. Alright, let's get some PGs out the way. Never mind, there's no PGs to be found. Instead, there is only victory. Alright, let's see it. Alright, so it's literally that easy. You just can leave it on auto. The tip that I always give you guys, just leave it on auto. Nine crits and believe. But yeah, so... Sometimes you face Miwa. So yeah, you have Fever Mode activated. So basically now, when we finish the circle... So let me just move up by one space. You finish the first lap, and then uh, you get 60 tokens for finishing it, and then you get to roll the roulette. So here you see the character also changes between a few characters. So Fever Roulette. If the roulette wheel stops on a winning space, it's fever time. All lap long, you'll get extra Valentine's chocolate. So yeah, this is basically, you get triple rewards and quintuple rewards, wow. In Japanese, it's just five times and three times. And we get five times, cool. That is. Doesn't happen that often, so having done our first one is definitely pretty good. I wish you guys luck in having the same. Alright, so let's just roll out the remaining dice. It, it precedes the spaces that you rolled, so even if you roll like a 3 there, it still will proceed. And so yeah, you just keep unlocking the cards, and then you do a boss fight after you've unlocked all of them. And then as you unlock these episodes as well, you get 50 gems, so you get a good few gems. So there's no reason not to do these, um, so never don't skip them. Like, don't just, you know, not do them, because you get free gems and free packs, and it's just, it's worth it. It's literally, you're getting free stuff, like, you should not be uh, skipping out on things like that, in my opinion. So yeah, ooh, we hit a 1, that's not too good. I think I still have a 2 left, so I can go grab that Crimson Beast Tamer. It's gonna be my last one, is it? I think it is the last one. Alright, let's do a 2, and there we go. And then, of course, now there was also daily login bonus campaign. Uh, that you get more dice from. Oh no, there's one more left. But you get daily daily dice from these. And yeah, so let's roll the last dice. So that's gonna be... Ooh, oh yeah, it's gonna be it. But see, we land on 30, it's times 5, so we have 150 tokens. So that's literally how it works. So that's how these events work. You progress the story, you unlock new episodes, you can read them. It's pretty cute, pretty sweet. And you know, you can give them, give them a good read and you'll have a nice little wholesome adventure. But the nice thing to look forward to is that probably in the summer we're gonna get bikinis, um, both for guys and girls. Well, for guys, I guess it's not really bikini, but more swing, swim trunks and stuff like that. But yeah, so it's nice, it's wholesome, it's a cute event, don't miss it. Log in daily, check this model room every day because you get three dice, do your daily VP stuff and all that good stuff, and I'm sure you guys will manage. I unfortunately, as you can see, am not managing because the daily reset is just around the corner and I was busy with work today to actually log in in the morning. <laughs> but that's, you know, just what it is. So, on that note, that's basically it for this little event guide video. Hope you guys found this useful. Let me know if you did. If you still want more of these, you know, me recovering events that already happened in Japan because, I mean, I already covered them in the Japanese version uh, on a video before. So if you like these kind of videos, then let me know and I will keep doing them. But if not, then we'll, I'll just link you guys to the old Japanese ones instead. But of course, there are sometimes changes and stuff, but usually not. But anyway, that's probably going to be it for this video. So once again, it's nice to have this nice new lens and look good for once on camera instead of the webcam. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.